Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Today in this video, we are going to boost the processor and make the computer performance faster. So if your processor, if your system is lagging and not getting better FPS in gaming, this video is for you. Just do a right click on the start icon and click on run. Now here we need to type msconfig. Click on OK. Once you click on OK, you will find system configuration where you will have general boot services, startup and tools. So we will go to boot up section and here you have your current OS installed, the default OS and look for advanced option. So once you click on advanced option, you will find boot advanced option and here you will find number of processors, PCI lock debug. So if it's unchecked, then do a check mark and click here and here you can click the maximum and then click on OK. Click on apply and click on OK. Now the second step which we need to do, click on the search and type power and here you need to click on power and sleep settings. Now once we are in power, at the top right corner, you will find additional power setting here you will find choose your customize a power plan. So at the right hand side, you will find change plan settings and power saver. So you can click anywhere, change plan settings. And here you will find change advanced power settings. So once you click on that, a new window will appear like this. So here, guys, you need to check high performance here. So if you have ultra performance, high performance or even balanced please make sure you select one of three either balance or high performance or ultra high performance once this is done since i am getting high performance so i will select high performance and then i will scroll it down and look for processor power management now here we need to click on this plus icon and here you will find minimum processor state so once you click on that, it should be at the zero. So if it's a different value, make sure you just type zero and click here. And the system cooling policy should be active. And the maximum processor state should be 100. Once you have done that, just click on apply and OK. Once this is done, we are going to do a last step. And then you just need to restart the computer and then check the difference check the speed of your computer so i'll just close it i'll just do a right click on the task or the start button and i'll click on task manager now once the task manager is open i'll go to the startup tab and here i'll cautiously look for all unwanted applications so just look for all unwanted applications and just do a right click and disable so disabling from startup doesn't mean you will not be able to use those applications. You will be able to use it. It just whenever you will open the computer, turn on the computer, it will not automatically turn it on. So I don't have too many applications here, but in your case, you might have many applications at the startup. So just check one by one and make sure you do not disable your security or a graphic card or Intel services. If you do not know something about it, you can search it. So I can I know what exactly Cortana is and I do not want at the startup. So I just disabled it. Right. So once you do that, restart the computer and let me know how exactly the difference. Please let me know in the comment section if it has worked for you. Or if you have any concern, please let me know in the comment section. I'll surely help. Guys, if you have not subscribed and liked, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.